Well, hello everyone. I've come out today to my local forest and it's been raining all night and this morning. So it's just beautiful in the forest. It's glowing like it always does after a rain here. Really, really nice. And so I've come out to see what I can find today. That way I still have some nice fall color here, kind of interspersed among the green. So that's really, really neat. And I'm hoping to find something nice to photograph this morning. So what I really like here is this curving uh, tree with the fall color. And so I'm just trying to figure out how to place all these elements in the frame. Uh, I kind of want the big, heavy, dark tree to be off-center a little bit. I like, I like this one curving out sort of toward the edge and just framing it by the other verticals. And then, of course, the beautiful uh, palmettos coming through here and the nice accent color between that and the and the glowing pine needles because of the rain and the fall colors is also saturated. So I really like this image and it's just so emblematic of our North Florida forest this time of year. that I've captured that image. I'm gonna move on and keep going down these trails and just looking to see what else I could find. I'm sure there'll be more. This forest is so beautiful right now. Just a little bit of wind, so I have to bump up the ISO. But it's not too bad and gosh, it's so pretty right now. I'm sure I'll find something else. So I stopped at this uh, little area here that has a lot of potential. I just put my gear down, grabbed my viewing frame, and just sort of wandering around. Just a small, a small little area here just looking at compositions. And I found one that I really, really like. Uh, just use the viewing frame to sort of figure out the framing and the spot I need to stand. And uh, have my little knotted string here to show me sort of what focal range I'm in so I know what lens to put on. So I put on my 150 to 300 and framed up a pretty tight composition on just some neat trees with neat little gestures. And uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. So what attracted me to this image uh, was this uh, dark sort of curving tree with that interesting shape and then the lighter colored tree actually has sort of a nice little curve to it and then of course the beautiful fall color here 
Uh, so I was just trying to figure out how to sort of juxtapose these, put them together to make them work together. And I just, I, I decided on just touching the two trees together that hide some other elements behind it. And then I have these other trees back here in the background and I photographed this both ways, both uh, where the, these are sort of out of focus and then I also did exposures for a focus stack. So we'll see whether I like it uh, better, uh, you know, with it all in focus or, or maybe it's okay for, in sort of a soft rainy day to have this background. Uh, be just a little a little soft that really will emphasize the, these shapes and this interaction between these two trees which is what I really like here Well, I found one more image uh, right in the same little area. And uh, of course, I just love this neat little sort of past peak fall color. And then just the verticals. Uh, this uh, group over here is kind of neat because they kind of come out of one spot and fan out. And so just a nice little sort of abstract composition in the woodland. And um, I think that's pretty neat. So uh, I did have to focus stack that one. I, f I focused uh, on this tree and then this next group and then this end group. So we'll see uh, how that comes together. But um, uh, yeah, just a nice little abstract group of trees right in the forest. Uh, just sort of my favorite thing to do. And always something to keep a look out for, uh, just leaves sort of in between the trees. I, I think that's really special where there's some trees in front of, of this group of, of highlighted leaves and some behind. And so it just gives you sort of that feeling of depth and immersion. And, uh, and I think that's something really special here. fun and productive morning here in the local Florida forest. I got really lucky that the rain held off and that I found several nice subjects to work on. You kind of think your fall color is over when you're, you take a big long out west fall color trip and then come back to northwest Florida and it's sort of still happening here so that's always fun. But anyway now it's time to head on home and get on with the rest of the day. But if you like this content, I'd appreciate you subscribing to the channel and give this video a thumbs up and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.